Would you let your children read sad, depressing stories where a 14-year-old almost had to marry an old man? And an evil lady is killed with a saw. You would? Well, congratulations. I'm talking about this book. Look no further. Here in this series, there is a lovely assortment of miserable, depressing books that are just great. So seriously though, after rereading these as an adult, I'm continually surprised at how depressing and disturbing they are, but I'm also surprised at the great messages that they teach. Some are simple, like, <clears throat> if you are allergic to a thing, it is best not to put that thing in your mouth, particularly if that thing is a cat. But then there's lessons like that are really serious, for example. Wicked people never have time for reading. It's one of the reasons for their wickedness. Like, what the heck, Lemony Snicket? I was like 10. But seriously, these books are full of great lessons, messages for kids. The Wide Window. That teaches us we shouldn't let fear control us. The Miserable Mill. One of the things we see is that there's injustice. Um, the Lucky Mill's lumber mill. The boss pays them in coup coup blah, 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 blah. The boss pays them with coupons. Like, who does that? Then the book I'm reading, rereading right now, the fifth one, this has some things to say about the education system. Forced to memorize these long and pointless and boring stories that have nothing to do with anything, and then they're quizzed on it. Sounds like a blast. But most importantly, it shows children that the world can really suck sometimes. There's bad people out there. There's mean people out there. Life isn't fair. Fate isn't fair. For example, he actually wrote about this. Fate is like a strange, unpopular restaurant filled with odd little waiter waiters who bring you things you never asked for and don't always like. Isn't that a perfect knowledge? You're gonna make me tear up with me. Let's read all the bottle layers, which are the orphans in the story. They stay strong. They use the skills that they possess and they rely on each other to make it through the unfortunate events that their lives face. I can't remember if this quote was in the movie or if it was in the book, but it's a good quote nonetheless. And it goes like this. At times the world may seem an unfriendly and sinister place, but believe there is much more good in it than bad. All you have to do is look hard enough, and what seems like a series of unfortunate events may in fact be the first steps of a journey. So, everyone have a great day, and I encourage you to read the books, because apparently they changed my life. I'm talking like I've had some like spiritual connection to them. They're just really good books.